Hello and welcome back to another video of Power Automate. Today in this video, we will see how can we handle drop down on back page using Power Automate. Also, we will see how can we extract each item of the drop down list. Also, we will see how can we loop on each item of the list. So this video will be very useful for you if you like the content of this video so please hit the like button and subscribe my channel for more video go ahead and let's start the video here i'm using amazon e-commerce application if you want to use another application you can use here you can see we have one drop down option so this is the list of drop down so first we will extract the each item of the drop down list so first of all we will extract the each item of the list after that we will loop on each item of the list so first go on power automate so our first step is launch chrome okay. launch chrome if you want to use Microsoft Edge, you can use. So here, so in initial option, here we will give the URL of our application. This is the URL. Copy the URL and paste here. Okay, now window state. So I want maximized. Click on save, uh, go on application. So first we will uh, click on uh, this drop down option. I show you these selectors. That, now, any, now element, so maximize this element now. And when I put the cursor on this select uh, UI, UI element in UI element, so you can see here it is automatically select the that area so in this selector here you can see there is list of the item so first we will first we want this items okay so for that we have to create the selector okay, so go on notepad so first we will write the select now square bracket in this select we need id okay so id is always unique okay, so first uh, click like that uh, select select this id copy and paste here close the square bracket space greater than and now you can see there is the option so we will space and write option okay now this is our selected is created okay now close this your elements now go on power automate here our second action is extract data from web web page. Okay, take this action and drop and drop and drag and drop under this design panel. Now go on application. Now here you can see pop up here. Okay, so first go to the advanced setting and here in this drop down we will select list and here we will paste that url that just we have created okay so just copy this url here we will give the selector of element okay so just we have created this selector so we have to give the that selector here so paste and 
attribute so here you will write text simple, simple write text and click on save now finish now now you can see it's automatically get all the items all the list of items now click on save click on save our next step is so first we will see the our output okay uh, it is selecting all the list of item or not okay so we will see and then we will loop on each list of item now here you can see so you now you can see here this is the our list of each item so there is 44 rows okay so basically it is a starting from zero so this is the 45 okay now you can see this is the default uh, column name the result okay now click on save so our next step is we have to loop on each item of the list this is for that i'm using here for each take and drag and drop here take and drag and drop here and now in the variable data from web page okay now current item okay so this is the current item of the list list okay now click on save now we will use uh, set drop down drop down okay set drop down now here we will add ui element so first click over this all okay now this drop down press control and click here you can see so here uh, i'm using select options by name and here we have to give the options name so first go to the variable and current list of item current uh, item of the list and square bracket and single colon and here and write the result so this is result okay so this i am writing here result so this result is the nothing but this is simple nothing but this is the column name okay now click on save so here we want to see also I'm using display message also okay this is the title message box title so here i'm using name of the list of item now here same thing we will use like current item and square bracket and result now click on now click on save one more action and i will use that is the close browser okay Here, now click on save okay, now test our flow okay
all categories and click on ok Alexa skill also you can see here energy now Amazon device Amazon fashion Amazon fresh So this our workflow is working fine okay it is going to each item it is going from each item it is going to each item and okay, select each item of the list Purpose running successfully. So here total row is forty five. So it is going on each item of the list. Also, you can see here. Okay. Now, This is the last item. Okay, so now also it has closed the browser also. Now the workflow is executed successfully. Hope you like the video. Please hit the like button and subscribe my channel for more views. I will see you in the next video with new topic on power automate. Till then, happy learning.